Hey everybody, this is Omni Rusted. Welcome to Final Fantasy VI. We are back and we are going to be streaming some more today or recording or wherever you're watching this. Um, when we left off, the entire, the entire group was now together and is going to face off against the Emperor's, well, the Empire's army that is attacking Narsh. We've all gathered up on this mountainside leading up to where the Frozen Esper is and we're prepping for war. So basically how this works is a lot like the Mughal fight that was in episode 1 uh, except this time we actually have a full party. We can actually have full parties of people. But we go through every single one of them make sure they're optimized with the best stuff. Let's get rid of your knight's code, you don't need that. The earring however, you'd be great with an earring. Because that would definitely up your uh, your magic damage. So basically, we go to each person, we swap with them, we check their equipment, optimize it, give sprint shoes. Um, let's give you a star pendant here. And we just swap every single person around. Optimize there. We don't really have anything we can give you. Let's give you the Knight's Code and see if it uh, helps out at all. Cyan. You're fine. Edgar. Mithril Spear, Rune Blade. Yeah, you've got the Genji Glove. Um, don't need the Sprint Shoes. Let's give you the Hyper Wrist instead. That'll just make you super duper powerful. Sabin. You're still fine. you got the Tintinabulum and the Knight's Code. You're good there. Gao. I can give you a buckler. Snap right in the mithril glove. Yeah, that's all I can give you. So everybody's loaded up. Well, let's actually check their HP first. Ah, uh, you're fine. Yeah, you could use a potion. Do we have any just regular potions? We do not. Wow. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Ooh, you are not fine. Wow. Um You got such low health, my god. Locke is just hurting. And you're fine. So basically, you uh, you do all that. I'm not going to worry about saving for now. Go up here, boom, it puts everybody back in their place. Let's save again. Now we head up here. We sell Bannon. We are ready. Hello, Mog. Protect the Esper from Kefka. Would you like an explanation? No, I think we'll be fine. Uh, move characters anywhere you want by selecting their buttons, create a party by placing characters in the lower slots. So, there's a couple parties I want to have right now. I'm gonna put some of our best in one party together, because those ones will be taking on Kefka. And then I put together a party of uh, one strong, one weaker, to hold the line. In the other in the other places, <laughs> that one's really just depending on Gao. Uh, let's go ahead and switch these two. So basically, we're gonna have one party that goes up against Kefka. That's Edgar, Cyan, and Celes. So she'll be absorbing magic, and those two will just be dishing out tons of damage. Um, I'm. 
Uh, you can't really put Celas and Terra in the same party because Celas will then be absorbing Terra's magic. These two will be magic and then Gao uh, because he'll just be throwing out all of his abilities, but it's unreliable. This, on the other hand, is ridiculously powerful one-target uh, one hitters and then Locke who can just use items to keep Sabin alive, I guess. And we'll confirm. Here they come! Prepare for combat! Oh, if it isn't General Sellers, the traitor. Excellent, now I won't have to hunt you down later. There's the whooping laugh. And unlike the, uh... Go, get those vile insects. Unlike the war before with the Moogles, this is just a hell of a lot of guys. So we'll use the same strategy that we had before. Have Locke hold down one here, have these guys in the middle, and we will just be holding down one area at a time. Uh-uh. Okay, where's my bomb? There's the bomb. Come on, blaze them. Yeah! Or one, sure. That's what I'm talking about. And we'll move her into place and then, uh. Gonna use Terra's Cure a lot right now to keep everybody alive. If they reach Banna, all is literally lost. And let's set her to defend here. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Terra gained a level! Okay, she'll hold down the fort there. Uh, looks like Locke and Sabin are going to be getting some unwelcome guests here. Unfortunately, I do not have uh, Sabin's ability that hits everybody yet, so we'll just be taking them down one at a time. And stealing as much stuff as we can, because basically Locke is going to be the item monkey. High potion, excellent. And he'll flee. That is good, that is really good. So they'll be working slower, but whatever. Maybe I should put them in the middle instead. Because at groups like this, it's going to be a while until everybody's dead. Couldn't steal. I'm just hoping to get a ton of high potions. So either using potions on lock or stealing more potions. Or regular potions, sure. Let's see how much Locke can actually do his damage. I doubt he can one-shot one of these guys. No. Yeah, I'm thinking if I get the chance, I want to swap Edgar and Locke. Okay, so I'm going to show you the new Bushido that he gets. It's got to power through all four levels, which sucks, but when it gets up... Fiore! Does four normal strikes, and it's incredibly powerful, and I love it. I love it so much. Okay, let's get Locke, and we'll swap Edgar over. Probably get more competition with these guys. Auto crossbow. Uh, regular strikes are okay for now. Since we got the auto crossbow, we're gonna be doing a ton of damage anyway. And let's get a cure out. Another auto crossbow shot. 
Should take them all out. Okay, we gotta get locked back down there. They're starting to pile up. Oh, Magitek armor. They're getting tougher now. Time for some magic! Oh, that hurts. I'm thinking it's time for some drain. Wow, that's really expensive on the magic. Never mind, wow. Drain is nice, but holy crap, we do not need to waste that much experience, uh, that much MP. Come on, get him, Gao! Or not. This is not going well. Jesus! Get him! That's what I'm talking about. Alright. We gotta get over to them now. Shit. Okay, this is super bad. Shit. Oh, uh, we can't run away. Okay, um, it's time for an X potion, which, which, which will replenish all of my HP. So I can take a couple more hits. Good. Yes! Come on, come on, come on. And we're gonna have to take them all out with just her. I'm hoping she can get these two fires off in time to... Yeah, well, I'm hoping she can get these off, because she'll have to get two of them off in order to kill the whole group. Okay. <laughs> so, we're kinda rushing here, and uh, we're trying to hold things together. We gotta get locked back in place ASAP. Luckily, these guys can take a lot of punishment. Hit the heavy armor. That's him on a crossbow. Hopefully he fangs the Magitek. Nope. Not a big deal. Good. Those guys are still going strong. This is getting really tough right now. Attack this guy to take him out of the fight. And that should cause the dog to flee. Damn, okay, this is getting really bad. They're coming in waves right now, and I don't have the opportunity to get Locke back in place. Let's power up a quad strike. Good. God damn it, let me get Locke! See, they still get to move around right now, and if they reach Bannon, Shit's bad. More cure out here. Come on. There we go. Right there. Damn it!
Not putting a uh, lock in the correct place is really screwing me up right now. I need to catch that soldier up there before he goes to Bandon. If he gets to Bandon, it's all over. Yes! Ah, come here, fucker! Come on, the dog. Yes! Damn it. Okay, let's get Locke back in place, and then we'll pull Edgar back there. Ooh, this is getting stressful. <laughs> Come here, you. I think there's still more coming. Edgar gained a level, cool. Oh, come here, gotcha. <laughs> Thought you could get him, did ya? Okay, let's get everybody back into place. Yep, they're still coming. Get some cures out. They're still good. You know what? Let's just go all out. These two don't have the HP to really keep up a long expanded fight. Wow! Never mind. Because we're all depending on, on Gao's Blaze, and that's not very dependable at all. Okay. Looks like there's a couple left here. Go hunt you down. It's not ideal that I basically have to, uh, ow. That I basically have to depend on my powerhouse party, but we have two bosses up there that we're gonna need to take out. So my powerhouse party needs to have most of the enforcement here. Let's back everybody up since they still got a couple coming in. Okay, so we're basically just waiting them out right now, which is totally fine. Um, how is that a back attack? I think this means I'm doing more damage to them. Nope. Or something. I can't... I don't really understand. Let's get back into place. Good. Alright, still going strong. Um, I want to get these guys most of the experience just in case they are the one... Because they're the ones that are going to be going after the bosses. Uh, so... It's very important that they be in on this, uh, this first fight. And that they be the most powerful. Okay, I think that's it all. I think that's all of them. Okay, so we want them now to have the absolute 
most powerful of everything. Heal them up. Uh, check their equipment. Don't... This is nothing else I can do for Edgar. Um, might want to give him a Knight's Code. So let's give him a Knight's Code here. Just in case anybody gets hurt, he can take the brunt of the damage since he's got the uh, he's got the most HP. Um, I basically just uh, she's got a great sword. I can give her a rune sword. It's the Razor Evasion. I need Edgar to have the evasion. Yeah, she's got to stay with the great sword, unless somebody else has a rune sword. Let's go check here. Great sword. Uh, another earring. Let's give her that. And a Magus hat. Yeah. Gao has a mithril glove. Should be fine without it. These two. Air knife, heavy shield, uh, star pen, and sprint shoes. Not a big deal. Uh, green beret. I can definitely give that to somebody else. Alright. Green Beret will raise his evasion again with more defense and more magic, magic defense, which since he doesn't have a shield, it's very important. Uh, Hyper Wrist is nice. Um, yeah, that's basically what he's going to be sticking with. You're fine. And then you get the other earring. Although you're pretty much going to be using runic magic this whole time, but if I need to get a heal out, the heal will be very powerful. That looks good. Alright, so we'll go against this guy. He's a normal enemy, but he is incredibly fucking powerful. I can't. Can I? Could I really? That would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I didn't work. I didn't think so. I didn't expect it would work, but I, wouldn't, I wanted to try it anyway. Let's see how powerful her magic is now. Pretty good. Tiger Fang. He is dead. Yeah. Okay. He didn't even get a shot off. Excellent. That guy... Ooh, we got Remedy. Yeah, that guy is... He doesn't seem like he would be, but that guy has taken out whole parties before for me. Ah, uh, you're fine with just regular potion. You're fine. An ether right now would not be bad. Okay. I want to go up and see... No, we can't save in the middle of this. If we fail, we just have to start over. But let's go take out Kefka. And this is Kefka full form, mind you. He's going to have magic. He's going to have everything. So we'll, we, we will runic. Hit him with some poison. He's going to poison me back. But I got the runic there. Now, basically, Celeste's, uh, oh yeah, we can't do that on bosses, I didn't think so. I needed to try. Um, Celeste's Runic Blade, it absorbs his magic, which that would have hurt, and gives me the MP that he would have used. So basically, she can be with nothing but Runic, because Kefka's abilities are painful as fuck. He's got tons of magic. And I can keep countering his magic with my own Runic Blade. He does have attacks that are magic, though, and when he hits me with those, those are going to hurt. But hey, I'm hurting him a lot, too. Yeah, even his normal hit still does a lot of damage. 
So we'll keep this up. With the quad strike. Looks like he's uh, depending more on uh, hitting me now. I don't know if that's an AI thing or if he ran out of MP. Nope, he's still got Blizzara. Yeah, get him! He's doing shit tons of damage here. This is great. Grr! Don't think you've won! And he runs away like the bitch he is. Obtained Peace Ring. We got him! Grr! I won't forget this! And he's gone. Where's the Esper? Is it alright? Let's go see. There it is. I don't know how they moved it up here. The Esper is safe, though. It also appears to be alive. Is that even possible? Uh, Terra? What is it? And they're responding to each other, and Locke almost gets knocked off a cliff. No! Hoo-hoo. Terror and the Esper, they're reacting to each other. This is like before, only this time she's not in very explodable Magitek armor. What? What is this I'm feeling? Hmm? What's going on? Please tell me. Who am I? Who? Terra. The Esper, it's responding to her. Terra, get away from that thing! We go into the flamey thing again, and this time there's no very explodable Magitek armor, so it actually responds to her, communicates with her, and she turns Super Saiyan. And she's off! She flies a quick flyover of Narsh, probably very confused and excited. And she goes on a chaotic ride. Let's see, that's over Figaro. Way off into places that I do not recognize at all. Down to Gogo's Island, up to Gogo's Island, I guess. And over a place I've never been before. Ugh. Are you awake? Where's Terra? She turned into a something and flew off. She looked like... She looked like an esper. Locke, are you okay? Something happened to Terra. There must be some sort of connection between her and that Esper. We need to find her. Witnesses said she went streaking westward across the sky, beyond Figaro. We've gotta hurry. I promised I'd protect her. Locke. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire will be, will be back again for that Esper. And someone needs to protect Bannon. A former Imperial soldier. But still, we must help her. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for Terra will stay here to guard against further attacks. Figaro Castle can shuttle the others to the Western Province. It shouldn't be hard to track down clues in... Collegian? Collegian. Or Jidur as to Terra's whereabouts. We form only one party now. And the party I'm gonna form is gonna be the one that can make the most of this situation. Because there's storyline that we can actually get if we take this specific party. 
Locke is not super powerful, but he's powerful enough that I still really uh, appreciate him. But there is something I want to do, which is I'm actually going to take the Genji Glove off. Uh, let's see. Prevents Berserk and Confusion. Let's use that. Um, give you a plumed hat here. You still got the Knight's Code, yeah. We're actually going to give the Genji Glove... Uh, let's give it to her because she will be attacking more often. She'll get the Rune Blade and the Great Sword. Uh, yeah, he's got to keep the Sprint Shoes. The Star Pendant, there's really nothing better. So you're set. I mean, there's nothing else I can give you. Is the Kempo Gi better? Uh, raises speed, but meh. Lowers defense and magic defense. Doesn't raise speed by enough to make it worth it. Okay. Let's talk to people. Do thy best. We must save Terra. Change party members? No. What about you, Gao? Gao do his best! Gao do good! Oh, there's somebody else up there. Um, Gao. Gao, excuse me, Gao. Thank you. Bannon, please find Terra. The future of the world rests in her hands. And Bannon just sort of stays here. We never, ever fight with him again, which sucks. I heard Terra turn into a ball of light and shot away towards the west. Perhaps someone at Figaro Castle saw where she went. And Arvis, as always, reminding me of my duty. Arvis. This is, like, one of the first games I, I played that didn't have the, uh... Oh yeah, by the way, we can actually walk around Narsh now. We're actually accepted here. Like, they're not just going to kick us out again, so we finally get to explore Narsh. Only that chest in the back corner is locked. wonder if there's a way to open it. Well, let's go loot Narsh for treasures. Another earring. Thief's knife. Locked. Hyper wrist. Thief's bracer. Reflect ring. Those are all really, really good gear. Holy crap. A uh, knife that sometimes steals. That is perfect for Locke. Holy crap. Obviously made for him since, well, he's a treasure hunter. Uh, let's... What does the Thief's Bracer do? Bracer inhabited by the spirit of a thief increases the success rate of the seal command. Nice. Um, let's give you the Reflect Ring. Because if anything happens to anybody else, you're the one that's going to heal us up. Good damn stuff, though. I mean, holy crap. And we can raise your strength by a hell of a lot. Yeah. Let's do that instead of the Knight's Code. I think that we good. So nobody knows what's in that box yet. We will find out later, though. Let's go explore Narsh a little bit by looting. Magic? I don't believe in that nonsense! Um... If you insist, old dude. Narsh is a neutral city. We've taken no part in the war, yet we're still not spared from the Empire's aggression. Magic's real, I tell ya. Oh, those two are arguing. I get it. Figaro Castle can burrow through the sand all the way west to Colhegion. That's incredible. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing. I don't think we need anything. How are we on tents? We're fine on everything, yeah. The only thing that Esper's brought us is trouble with the Empire. Curse the day they dug up that freakish thing. See, that's a very logical assumption. I think we can actually rest down here. Nope. Okay. We don't need it right now. I was just checking if there was one of those beds that's a free rest place in Narsh, you know? Almost every town seems to have one. So look at the relics. Uh, Jeweled Ring prevents petrification. Hmm. Barrier. Cash shell when the wearer is critically wounded. Fairy Ring, Mithril Glove, and the Knight's Code. Nothing here I really need. I saw me some Moogles playing with one of them big ol' yetis the other day. Of course, no one believes me. <laughs> Uh, 
Well, when you're the town drunk, I mean. Elder, ah, the Elder's house. To be honest, I'm still not sure what I should do. I want to avoid war, but on the other hand... Elixir. Yeah. Can I read your journal? I can't read your journal. So pretty much the only thing keeping this city alive... That, that house has got a hole in it. Is uh, all these all these steam stuffs, and so basically everybody just walks around constantly throwing coal into the steam engines to keep this place from freezing up. Okay, uh, chain flail, that's nice. Moon ring blade. I'm not gonna get that for Locke. It's really nice that we could put him in the back row with it, uh, but I'm gonna be mostly hitting with thieves blade he got. The chain flail, on the other hand is uh, going to be really nice, but it also prevents Celis from using her Runic Blade. I'm not too worried about magic at the moment, because, I mean, look at that attack speed. Look at that. She still has her Greatsword, too. Hmm. So she should be able to use Rune if I come upon any magic, but I don't think it's going to happen anyway. Hey, I'm sneaking into your back room, old man. Anything? Any loot? No? What about this bed? Oh, there's the free bed that we can rest in. There's almost one in every town. It's like, why even put the ends in the game? You can rest anywhere you feel like it. Not every town has one of these. Most of them don't, in fact. But, it's still neat. We obey the elders well. The city is warmed by the heart of our steam engines. I saw a ball of light shoot off towards Figaro Castle. It almost looked like a person. And she was naked. Nothing in here I really need. Just your regular inn. The house on the far right holds all the treasures I've collected over the years. Take them before the Empire does. Oh. Oh, ah, uh, that's, well, I mean, I might have already done that. One of the boxes is locked and won't open, though. It's too bad. I think this one had something good inside. It does, actually. I feel like I'm... Where's the armor shop? Did I already hit the armor shop? Ah, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay. Mithril shield. Everybody wants a mithril shield. Uh, we'll get three of those since we got the Genji glove. Magus hat. We've got one already. Iron helm. Uh, apparently is better than what two people are wearing. Oh, those two have mithril helms. That's... Okay, fine. Silk robe. Iron armor. Okay. Okay, that's everybody optimized. Let's see what we want to sell. And I think that's it. Nope, oh, there's a iron armor I can get rid of. All right. Elixir? No. Okay. All right. So that's Narsh. Very exciting. I know. Did I talk to you already? I talked to you already. Okay. And I mean, it's not like you really need to do anything in Narsh because you've got this thing up here anyway. You don't need to really rest. Because there's the healing spring right there in the bucket. Let's go.